Hello YouTubers, welcome back to another video, but this is a video that I don't really ever wanted to do. My advertising sign on the M6 Junction 14 field has blown over. Yes, it was secured at the back end with ground anchors and rope, but due to them winds that we had last night where I've even seen lorries blow over on the motorway, of course my sign was going to blow over if a motorway bloody lorry's gone over so one of them i'm gonna blame it i'm gonna blame it as an act of god but we're gonna go out we're gonna get it sorted don't really need to advertise as a lot of you probably know but i just did this for like i don't know i just saw an opportunity i thought oh yeah give it a go cool so if the sign is damaged i'm just going to scrap it straight to the scrapyard don't really care about it don't care about the money value of it don't care full stop it's going to get scrapped um and yeah that's it so we'll be in the field in a few moments um in the land rover discovery four with road tires i've only just had this back like three days ago four days ago not even had time to buy my all-terrain tires for this but i have got a spare set of alloys which i'm gonna get some mud terrain tires on for certain jobs when you know you're going in a field um Again, it's just having the time to buy them and get them done. Otherwise, I'd probably be putting at least all terrains for this one because, as you know, if you've been following my channel for a while, um, the, the track going up into the field is not great. Um, the last time we went up was in the Jeep XJ and that went for 25 quid. Ideally, if I'm gonna recover this upright, it'd be great to have a winch at both sides, but I don't, I'm a one-man band. Yes, I could probably call for help, but I'm gonna give it a go myself. Because as you know, if I'm writing the sign up and up and up, what's stopping it from going all the way over again? And let me be brutally honest, it is top end heavy as well. And somebody has left the gate open at the yard. So we're gonna shut the gate because it should always be shut because there is livestock in here. So let's just do that. Right. Dreading this, you know, dreading it. Don't want to ever, didn't know I ever want this to happen, but I knew it would happen, if that kind of makes sense. Right, I'm going to save the battery and try and get a little bit of footage when we get there. Okay. Some good news some good news i think it's fell backwards which is a bonus why do you say that because it means that the sign on the front will be saved and it makes it a little bit easier for bringing upright and i know that i never secured it front ways because i've always thought with the how the area is that the wind's always blowing backwards but that was just silly so we might just be in luck but a lesson learned kind of a bit like strapping a car really do it from all four corners and because of my idea putting it on an ad put it on a farm trailer ain't really the best it was just a silly idea but we're going to go and rectify our problems and hopefully there is not a squashed horse underneath my sign otherwise we've got some horse meat for tea but uh yeah hopefully not it is blown over backwards which is looking good but looking bad oh no where's my access gone is this the oh yeah 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 oh my oh my boy oh boy not liking that squeaking though Oh, there it is. Shall I just turn this round? Shall I turn it round? Oh, 
but I can see a wooden timber that's come off, I think. Uh, actually, no, it might be the boarding from the floor. That might not be too bad. It's official. We're here, and there's no horses in the field. But look at my sign. Don't want to get electrocuted. Whether they're on or off, I do not know. But luckily, there are no horses in the field. That down on there, and we'll put them back up in a second. Oh, what a day! I've already had bare messages on Facebook and Instagram. Greg, Greg, your sign's down. Thank you very much. But I did go past this morning, and I knew it would be over. Oh, what a day! Oh, what an operation this is going to be on my own. Oh well, if there's anyone to get the job done, that'll be me. Because we're going to get the job done. Right, I'm going to save this clip now. I'll video it again and get a little bit closer. Okay, let's go. Right. We are here on the side of the M6 at Junction 14. And luckily, I can still see my holes in the bolt in the wood. It's still there. The only thing that's come off, touch wood. Is the board? Oh, it's the boards on the back, but we don't really care about those. And that board that was flat on there. So at the minute, I'm happy, and my anchors are still in the ground. But I didn't secure it from the front. Oh, look at all oh, that's coming off on there as well. Oh, I'm gonna have to have a word with the Simon about that. That's coming off. Oh, look at all the splits in the middle. Jeez, that's not lasted bloody long. <sighs> and again, all on here. It's all coming up, man. Might have to get some Gorilla Glue on the go. But other than that, we're all right. Now, winching. Winching, winching, winching. I can feel we've got the wind coming at us this way. So, oh no, look at that as well. There's the other ground anchor, ground spike. Now, in regards to uprighting this, going that way, ain't big enough, it's going to be turned a little bit. Ah! Not looking forward to this. Where it's going to work, I don't know. The chance of it still ruining the signboard is still quite high. But I want to be on the side and lifting it over rather than on the trailer. I need to be securing it right on this uh, top end of the signboard to give it the best chance of survival. Um, yeah, let's just go and get it done. Let's see what happens. Oh man, can't believe it. Can't believe it. What I knew was going to happen. So now I need to secure it from the front. And if I secured it from the front, it probably would have just survived. So. on the back on the back of the board to try and pivot it upright there is a risk of it blowing over the other way but the wind is currently coming this way so it kind of works in my favor and then i'm going to secure it a million times so it doesn't happen again these things happen they say these things are sent to test us well this is definitely testing now okay we're on Ah, I'm going to have to chop that wheel up. It's the wheel. It's the wheel. 
Try again. I haven't brought my wheel chops. My new one. <laughs> Love it. How about that? And luckily, because my strings are still on the back, they've just snapped last minute. But at least I had a bit of tension. So, um, yeah, but now I need to turn them wheels and just briefly try and secure it with what I've got here. And then I'll go and get some more equipment and, uh, yeah, secure it back down. Woohoo! Just going to try and get it a bit more level back again for the motorway now. Come on, baby. Whoa, sugar! secure it from the front now and I thought we have to that we've got good tension on the back actually very good tension so just need to do something with the front okay but I think for now temporarily gonna leave that green strap with a ground anchor in until I get back right now I need to go get some ladders so I can get up to the top and uh, basically secure it like that at the front but one on each corner and then I'd say we're quite good to go again if you like what you see, like and subscribe. Woo, happy days.